Your Excellencies, Honoured Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. This meeting is a very timely one, since COVID-19 continues to disrupt education worldwide, hitting the youngest, especially girls, the hardest. COVID forced all of us to rethink the way we do things. There is one thing we should not forget. Education might be a victim of the pandemic. It's also part of the solution, a chance to build back better. Education has the power to connect and close gaps, like the digital or gender divide. It prepares young people for the labor market and it helps them become world citizens. To make sure education proves its powers and to make sure our sustainable development goals remain in sight, it's important that all of us work together. In this regard, I applaud the work that has been done by UNESCO and its working group and by so many other initiatives, such as the Save Our Future campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, the education goal is a precondition for achieving many of the other sustainable development goals. That's why damage caused by the pandemic must be repaired. In my country, we launched an ambitious multi-year national program for education, with a wide range of measures for all educational sectors. However, in our wish to recover quickly, we should also be aware of the risk. Take Big Tech, for example. It can help education tremendously, but we need to recognize and discuss the downsides as well. Let me end on a positive note. All of our histories know chapters of misfortune and sorrow. Challenging times also made it possible to improve ourselves. In 2021 and beyond, let us join together in exactly that mission. Thank you.